What is up, everybody? Blue Dog Thirty Five here. Uh, this is actually going to be the start of a new series uh, for um, Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, what I would like to do, or what I would, you know, what I'm gonna try to do with this series, is uh, I'm going to get one of, or try to get one of every car in the game. Um. I just need to build my bankroll a bit, uh, and I'm going to purchase them at auction, uh, and then I'm going to tear them down uh, to nothing, and build them back up to 100%, and sell them for uh, mucho mundo el profito. So basically this is the uh, the Dodge Charger look-alike, um, what the hell is it called? Magnum, yeah, well that is a Dodge. <laughs> It's a, uh, it's a Tempest Magnum. So, here's, uh, the Informaciones. Um, as you can see, it's in kind of rough shape a little bit. Um, I wonder if you look at it, if it tells you. Uh, no. So, but it does if you press the order button. And you have all the parts list here. So, uh, what I'm going to do to save a little bit of time, at least for runtime for the video, uh, for my 500 viewer special, or my almost 500 viewer special, 500 subscriber special, uh, what I did was, um, I kind of did it, uh, raw, I just kind of, you know, di I, I won it, and, uh, I did the video, um, and, you know, I made you guys sit through me clicking a million times to repair the parts and all that crap so uh, I'm gonna omit that stuff and I'm just gonna edit the videos uh, together cuz I have the skills to do that now <coughs> excuse me so basically what I'm going to do now is uh, <clears throat> but I'm gonna show you guys you know taking all the parts off and putting all the parts on so I'm going to uh, do the body right now so I'm gonna make it look nice and shiny so I'm gonna take the fenders off, um, the you know the brake lights if needed, um, door, all that stuff. Uh, but the the condition that you just saw it in was the condition I purchased it in at the auction. So here is um, <clears throat> I guess the raw vehicle here. So uh, when we come back, it'll be all put together with new parts or repaired parts, and then I'm gonna put it in there and uh, paint it the same nice blue. Then we're gonna throw it on, on the rack and uh, strip it down and uh, refurbish it. So yeah, thanks. All right, so here is the car stripped down and uh, we're going to start putting the body back together. <clears throat> It looks like it doesn't need a paint job, um, so we'll look and see what the uh, the body um, it says body conditions a hundred percent. It looks rather shiny and nice, uh, but you know what? <clears throat> We're gonna put her in the paint shop anyway. She needs to look pretty. It's only 500 doll hairs anyway, so why not? Yeah, that looks a little better. So, oh, that's the wrong button. There we go. So, yeah, it looks a lot more shiny, actually. I can see my reflection. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and put her on the right lifter. <clears throat> and we're going to start off by stripping the suspension. So, uh, here goes nothing. Don't really know what to say through all these, because, uh, you know, I've done so many of these. I kind of run out of things to say, other than, you know, uh, <laughs> this is where you check the oil. <clears throat> So, uh, I guess in this one I'm just going to try and be quiet, I guess, which might be a relief to some people. 
Um, and then, you know, if I need to say something. Or if I need to... Um... Whatever, then I will. <clears throat> I'm just gonna strip everything that I can. Uh, the sound of the fan is bothering you, I apologize. <clears throat> it's quite hot, and I know what you're thinking, oh, you know, I just had a crazy winter, but I actually never complained that it was cold. Um, I complained that I didn't get to go out and play in the snow in my car. And uh, it doesn't help that Satan herself lives downstairs. Um, I live in the second floor of a house, and uh, the lady who lives downstairs is my roommate's grandmother um, and she happens to be uh, the actual <coughs> excuse me the actual devil um, because uh, she's always cold like she's just always perpetually cold no matter what so it could be the middle of summer uh, you know 90 degrees outside, and the bitch has the damn heater on. <clears throat> um, pain in the ass, but hey, you know, me as a fat guy, I tend to sweat non-stop anyway, so, eh, whatever. What's a little more? <clears throat> Excuse me. So right now I got <clears throat> uh, the room that I'm in. Unfortunately, we cannot put an air conditioner. Uh, because there are no windows large enough to fit a uh, window unit air conditioner, even though we have a couple in the house. Um, but we do... <coughs> excuse me. We do have one um, in the kitchen slash uh, uh, laundry room. And yes, you heard me right. <coughs> kitchen slash laundry room. Um, but, uh, it doesn't really, well, it works alright, it works fairly well for, you know, what it is, <coughs> which is, you know, a cheap air conditioner, <coughs> um, but, it, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I'm losing control of my voice, I need to take a swig of my Gatorade, I apologize for the pause. Here we go. Um, right now I have uh, a small desk fan uh, blowing on me. Um, I'm getting blown right now and you can't see. Uh, but yeah, I have a small desk fan blowing me right now. And then I also have uh, one of those stand-up oscillating fans uh, in the doorway. <coughs> which is clo uh, sl slightly closed, uh, funneling the air conditioning into the room that I am located in. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've got a little bit of a frog in my throat. Kermit, what are you doing? <laughs> um, I'm go ahead and take the tranny out. <clears throat> But yeah, as you can see, this is all pretty much straightforward. It's kind of easy. We're going to have to uh, lift and lower and lift and lower a couple more times because of the kind of stupid way that this game goes about doing things. So uh, really the last thing that we're going to have to do is actually, hang on, I want to see how the oil looks. Last one, was, yeah, this one ain't half bad either. It's caramel color, so... Um, <clears throat> Basically, what I want to do down here is, oh, <laughs> derp, one more. I would like to remove the oil filter, the oil pan, 
and the uh, bearing caps for the engine while we're down here. So by doing this we can pretty much rip apart the entire top end of the motor, um, take out the uh, pistons. I think we'll only have to lift the car one more time <coughs> to um, Uh, to actually get to the crankshaft, or to <clears throat> to remove the crankshaft. Even, <clears throat> excuse me, even though, uh, you know, you would probably just pull the engine out of the car instead of disassembling the engine completely while it's still in the car. And it does it a little ass backwards in this game, but <clears throat> I still like it. As a, uh, you know, an actual mechanic, it's... <clears throat> it's kind of difficult to overlook things like that, but at the same time, you know, I do enjoy this game. It's somewhat therapeutic because at the moment I can't work on my car due to, you know, money uh, issues. Which suck. They're no fun. <clears throat> Take the headers off. Um, but the good news is, uh, I very well may have a job coming up soon. <clears throat> it's nothing fancy, but um, due to my current situation, uh, the really the only place that I'd be able to work is Walmart because, and I'd only be able to do third shift um, because I don't have the use of a vehicle, and also um, my roommate works at uh, Walmart third shift, so um, I had a job interview at Walmart for a third shift position. Um, and I'm just waiting to hear back from them. Um, so hopefully it goes well. And, uh, <clears throat> if I'm able to get the job, then there will be... <coughs> excuse me. And if I don't die, uh, there will be many, many, many more videos. Um, be it, uh, actual car stuff or... You know, make pretend like this because I'm go <clears throat> I'm going to invest in a uh, a semi beefy computer, Mr. Beefy. Excuse me. Uh, I'm gonna invest in building a semi beefy computer <clears throat> uh, while I'm rebuilding my other, co you know, my Subaru and. Because I genuinely enjoy making YouTube videos, so I want to um, I want to build a gaming rig that can run uh, GTA 5 on you know decent settings, <clears throat> and you know all, all my other games. I have BeamNG Drive and all that stuff, so uh, I want to start doing you know playthroughs and stuff like that. So you know because I find it fun. I like doing it. I like doing many things. There these. Yeah, that was totally creepy. I apologize. But we are almost done tearing this engine down while it's still in the car. I mean, I can see taking that cylinder head off if, you know, the motor's still in the car, but, you know, just to check valves and shit, but, um, you know, tearing the entire engine down. <clears throat> in the car. Nah. Hello. And then I don't believe I pulled the camshaft out. Alright, so, now we need to, uh, <coughs> excuse me, we need to lift we need to get at the crankshaft. Alright. Then we need to lower. <clears throat> because we need to remove the engine block. So, that is the entire car stripped down. We'll put it back up one more time. And we'll look at it. The body is in good condition. 
Um, that's the whole car. Uh, stripped down. And all that stuff. So, uh, we will put her back down. I'm gonna look at the total here. <coughs> it's worth $5,300. <laughs> Because everything's missing except for the body panels. Um, so, uh, I am going to uh, do a cut here. Um, go and repair all of these parts. And uh, then I'm also going to purchase the ones that I need. Um, and then we'll come back and we will have no interruptions in putting the, uh, the whole car together. Unless... I, uh, run into something, so, yep, be right back. Alright, I am back, and I am fairly confident that I have, um, all the parts that I need to, uh, put this baby back together. So, let us begin. Now I have doubles and triples of some. But, uh, I would much rather have that than, you know, nothing. Um, but if I did omit something, like I know I probably forgot a filter or something. Like, if I forgot something, then, uh, you know, go a little lazy on me. I did my best. Um, with my, t you know, terrible memory. It's, uh, at times it's a little bit difficult to, uh, you know, get stuff done. So I think that's all we can do from there. We gotta go to here. <clears throat> I like how it's just bolting to nothing. Um, and... We gotta do that from under the car. Come on, all right, there you go. I do that from under the car. But we might as well do all the stuff we can while we're here. Um, so let's go ahead and lift it. <coughs> Put the subframe in. And the crankshaft. And the oil filter and the soy bar. Oh wow, I remembered the oil filter. Would you look at that? Let's do everything that we can while we're down here. Even though we are going to have to uh, lift it another few times. Just because. <clears throat> but like, let's get, we did the sway bar. We'll do steering rack. We'll do the exhaust pipes that we can, uh, middle muffler, we'll do a little bit of the suspension, um, oh, I forgot the bearing caps, pretty sure I got all three of them though, yep, <clears throat> I tried to sell all the parts that or not sell, but, you know, get rid of all the parts that, uh, did not, um, have a place, <clears throat> or weren't 100%. Um, I have the inventory for another couple cars, uh, in here, too. Um, just stuff from career mode that I'm doing. <clears throat> Nothing too bad, though. So, all of this that I'm putting in is 100%. Um, and then, if for some reason something I see or I catch it and it's not 100%, then, uh, well, we'll just have to make it so it's that way. We'll just have to make that pig a hundred percent. What 
once again if the uh, fan is bothering you, I apologize. It's just too damn hot to go without it. Wish I could, I don't like being a fat sweaty guy, but... It's the body that I was given. So, I got you to make it work. Um, pretty sure that's it for now, so... Uh, let's lower the vehicle. You got to put her back up anyway, just to... <coughs> do the rear suspension and everything, so... Um, I'm fairly confident that I got all the pistons fairly confident. Yep. Um, put the cylinder head on. Um, my only issue uh, with the I'm pretty sure I got all the spark plugs. I think I got more than I was really supposed to. Uh, with the push rods, um, I might not have enough. So I might just have to buy one or two. But this is good for now. Um, another one is the rocker arms that I might not have enough of. Because I gotta buy, <clears throat> excuse me, I had to buy 16 of them, of each, the push rods and the valve uh, rockers. So, that was kind of like, Whoa! <clears throat> uh, then we'll put the exhaust manifold on. do the other cylinder head. That thing got a Hemi? No, just a pushrod V8. Although the um uh what is it? The distributor being up front. I believe that's a Dodge thing. I think a Dodge and Ford. I'm not 100% certain. Oh, I don't even remember the air filter. Would you look at that? I'm magical. Alright, so, moment of truth. My math is correct. And it never really is. Oh, we're good. Oh, look at that. I have... I bought too many. How many freaking valve push rods do I have? This is, must be the one that I screwed up on, then. We will soon find out. If you could assemble an engine this fast, man. They have, like, comp Oh, look at that, just enough. They have competitions to assemble engines. It's usually, like, NASCAR crews and stuff that do it. It's pretty cool. If you look on YouTube, if you're into that kind of stuff, uh, look up, like, engine building competition or something. Um, they basically build, like, a NASCAR V8, um... Just a, you know, simple pushrod V8. And, uh, just like this. And they, uh, I think the record is like 10 minutes to build an entire engine. And they actually have to, like, fire it up too and have it, you know, running. Which is friggin' sweet. Um, so we're gonna do timing gear. <clears throat> But yeah, last last I saw, um, it was like 10 minutes to build an engine. It, it's very well possible that, you know, it's uh, less now because last time I remember, I watched it a while ago. <clears throat> My fingers were not on the right buttons. Ladies, did that ever happen to you? Happened to me. Um, so let's just use my little stupid trick of uh, ah, oil pan. We'll do that when we lift the car to, um, do the whatever, but we're gonna tackle the front first. Oh, 
Boom. Uh, you know what? The other, the only one thing that I might have to buy is a tire. I cannot remember if all four are good. We'll find out in a moment, though. Yep, all four are good. So, um, let me just double check, see if I have all the, um, all the rubber bushings. Yep, we're good. Everything, just the oil pan. Um, so, yeah, we, uh, we can lift the car now. And of course I went to the wrong side for some stupid fucking ungodly reason. <clears throat> Look at that. All new parts. Shiny. Um, so we'll do this. Put the rear axle back. Even though there's nothing holding it up. Put this long ass drive shaft in. We'll hold off on the mufflers. Uh, come on. Come on! Leaf spring, there we go. Small rubber bushing. Rear shock absorber. Small rubber bushing. Put the fuel tank in. Put the fuel pump in. Do the axle housing. Wheel cylinder. Shock absorber. We'll do the other leaf spring. We'll do the other rear axle housing. Do the other small rubber bushing. Um, need to put the plates on now. And we'll do the U bolts. Few bolts. I bought too many U bolts. I'll put the drive axle in. Put the brake drum on. Put the other rim on. Um, that's it for this side. Put the solid rear, <clears throat> rear axle in. Wheel cylinder, shoe, drum, rim. We'll drop it, we'll do exhaust. Boom, boom. And then I believe we're done. Oh, oil pan. I never put the oil pan in. Doy. Then I gotta fill it with oil. And then we'll see how much she goes for. So. Alright, so. Bring her down. Pop the hood. Pour this crappy looking oil in. And then we should be done. So, close the hood. We'll move it to the center so we can oogle our handiwork. I'll pop the hood. I'll pop our trunk. Mm, look at that space. Four speed car pretty cool so that's the handiwork that we just did ripped it all down and built it back up all brand new parts or refurbished parts so we'll see how much is worth look at that 65 grand so we started with like 50 something and 
all that stuff. There's the parts list, everything 100%. Um, so, uh, I'm not sure I want to sell this one. I really like it. I like the color, too. <clears throat> so, I think I'm going to hold on to this one for now. Because, um, it didn't really cost all that much to, uh, restore it. So, I think I'm going to move this one to parking because I really like that car. <clears throat> and, um, I'll show you the other cars that I have. So, if you were watching my almost 500 subscriber special, um, and you saw till the end, or you skipped to the end, you will have seen, um, not this one, as we look at some pixely guy's ass. Come on, load. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. There we go. Not this car, but this one. Um, so I think what I'll do is I'll restore this one next. Um, this car right here, I have everything stripped out of it, including the engine. Um, I just wanted to see if I could uh, do that. Um, I have it stripped completely down except for the suspension. So it, <clears throat> excuse me, it rolls. Um, and I also painted it just so, you know, I wanted to see if I could store the cars in, you know, uh, complete crap shape. So, there's our beauty. Um, I'll, uh, I'll either do this one or this one. I'm gonna end up doing them both. Um, just not in the same. Whatever. Um, I got this at auction for, uh, like two grand. Um, and then I got this one at auction for like, I think it was like four or five grand. So, the prices are really weird in this because that would not be worth four grand. Um, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll do another episode. We'll actually, I'll move to the car to the garage <clears throat> and, uh, we will give it a looky, a look -see. It's a four cylinder, um, rear wheel drive. I know that much. Um, I think it's got similar layout to the car we just did. Um, and, uh, I think really the only difference is, like, the body shape and the, um, the engine. So, um, yeah, kind of, kind of resembles a Pinto, kind of, not totally, but, you know, it's got a four banger, just like a Pinto would. Um, it looks like it's carbureted, but it's not. It's actually got some magical form of fuel injection. It's a single overhead cam, four-cylinder. Um, it's got a little ignition module back here. It's got double wishbone suspension in the front. Um, leaf springs in the back. Actually, no, it's got torque arms in the back. So, um, that'll be a new rear suspension setup. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I'm going to do this car, um, next uh next episode so if you want to see that then uh stay tuned subscribe if you're just uh stumbling upon this and you'll see this one in you know a few days or a week or whatever unless it's already up so uh yeah i have been blue dog 35 thank you so much for watching i appreciate it very much and uh good night